transforming and manipulating vectors is very easy. Here you can see that I have a group of fleur-de-lis vectors which have been imported into ArtCam. They look like they were originally produced in metric, but I am working in imperial measurements, so my model size is 6 inches by 6 inches. So these are very large and don't fit the model space. In order to make them fit the model, I need to make them smaller. The easiest way to do this is by transforming them. To transform, select the icon from the top left of the screen, or use the keyboard shortcut which is T. When the dialog opens, you can see the size of the selected vectors, and these are over 1000 inches. To change the size, enter a size in the width. This will also change the height to maintain the ratio. If you don't want to do this, you can select the padlock to toggle between locking modes. If I then select apply, the vectors will be resized, although now they are very small. I can now press F9 on the keyboard to center the vectors and then zoom in on the model space to actually see them. Notice that when zooming, it will zoom wherever my mouse pointer is, so keep that near the model space and use the scroll wheel to zoom in. When a group of vectors are imported, they are grouped as one. To ungroup, right click and select ungroup all. I am now going to delete five of the vector designs to leave me with one design. Another way to change the size of a selected object is by selecting and dragging one of the red dots surrounding the bounding box of the object when in the transformation tool. If you press Alt on the keyboard whilst doing this, you can resize from the origin position, which is denoted by a blue dot, in this case in the center. If you hover outside the bounding box, you will see the cursor turn to a rotation cursor, so you can left click and rotate the selection. You can turn on a 15 degree angle snap for this by holding down Alt on the keyboard. Hovering inside the bounding box will change the cursor to a move cursor, which means you can move the object. Again, Holding down Alt while doing this will lock it to a 90 degree angle snap. The origin position can be changed by selecting one of the nine positions in the dialog or by moving the blue dot within the selection. This will then rotate around that particular point. To create copies, you can hold down Control, hold down Control and Alt, and it will give you a copy with an angle snap. To select all of the objects in the model quickly, select Ctrl and A. If transform is then opened again, the whole of the selection can then be transformed. Again, press Ctrl on the keyboard and drag to create copies.